Don't you wish your toddler would listen to you more often? What if you only had to ask them to do something only once? All the time. Ugh, what a dream. Instead, what often happens is you end up repeating yourself over and over again, hoping that they'll finally listen, and by the end of it, you lose your temper and you end up yelling. And you don't like yelling. Who likes yelling? Ugh, it's no fun. But no worries. I've got your back. Today, I want to talk about two simple things that you can do to help increase your child's compliance. Now, in the future, forever. <laughs> So let's get to it. I would suggest that you check out the two previous videos in this playlist. One is three reasons your toddler isn't listening to you, and the other is four things that you can do to help your child listen and behave. Those go hand in hand with this video because they have to do with what to do before you ask your child to do something, when you ask your child to do something, and then this video is actually about once you've asked them to do something and they haven't listened, even though you've tried everything else in the previous videos, which is still bound to happen. So that's what I'm here for. <laughs> so without further ado, here is step one. What you want to do is to provide one warning if they haven't started to listen to what you've asked them to do within 10 seconds. You're not going to do it more than once. You don't really want to wait too long after. That's why I say within about 10 seconds, they should start doing it. I'm not saying they have to have it complete, but if they've started doing it, then that's compliance, at least as far as I'm concerned. And the reason you don't want to wait too long is because toddlers have short attention spans and they get distracted easily, as I've spoken about in my previous videos. And so really, if you ask again after like a couple of minutes, for them, it's like a whole brand new time that you're asking them which means that the previous time that you asked, you didn't follow through, which is not good <laughs> because you're teaching your child that they don't have to listen to you every time. So the reason why I say that you give them only one warning and that it needs to be within 10 seconds is because you're gonna need to follow through with it if they don't and you want it to be on every instance that you ask them to do something because if you're consistent, you're teaching them a skill. If you're inconsistent, you're confusing them and they're gonna try to take advantage of you anytime they can if they think that they're not gonna have to listen. But if the rule is they're always gonna have to listen, then there's no question about it and they won't try it, at least not as often. So step number one, give a warning within 10 seconds. What this warning is gonna be is you reminding them of what you asked them to do and you're gonna include what the consequence is gonna be if they don't. A consequence might be you walking them through it. So you would say, hey, I've asked you to go put your pajamas on. If you don't go do it by yourself, I'm gonna come and help you. Or maybe the consequence is that you remove something. So if you don't go put your pajamas on, I'm gonna turn off the TV until you've done it. Or maybe the consequence might be that you know, I'm going to take away the TV and you have to go brush your teeth before you can watch TV on top of putting on their PJs. So that's like an extra task that they have to do. I should also mention that when you give this warning, it's important to follow the four steps in my previous video that I've mentioned linked below because you want to follow those four steps when you're giving the warning, which is basically all about making sure that they're listening. And then we come to the second step, and that's just to follow through every time, which I technically already talked about, but it's that important. I'm going to repeat it. <laughs> follow through every time. That's how toddlers learn. They learn by consequences, and they learn by consistency. Anytime that something is inconsistent, they're going to gamble it. For them, not listening and to continuing to do what they're doing is worth you eventually getting mad because they're never sure of like when you're actually going to follow through, when you're going to yell at them. All they know is they want to keep playing or watching what they're watching and that's more important to them. In a previous video I've mentioned how their frontal lobe isn't fully formed and this is what allows them to reason, to understand consequences and what's going to happen if they don't listen, to remember all of these things, to uh, impulse control which is so important for them. So they just don't have the ability to do that. I know you want them to, 
I know it drives you crazy, but it's very important for you to understand that biologically, that's just not something that they can do with consistency. Maybe every once in a while they do, but it's not going to be something they've got down pat at this point. So the more consistent you are, they're going to learn the rules so much faster. So that's what I suggest. I've been using these steps for years. They're based on research. They're very effective as long as you're consistent. Please let me know down below if you have any questions, if you've had any issues. Maybe you've tried these things and they're just not working. I'd love to figure out what's going on. So let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these things were helpful. Again, questions, put them down below. Other things that I haven't even mentioned that are an issue, let me know down below. Maybe I've got a simple solution. And otherwise, stay tuned for next week's video. You can subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be talking about what to do for a toddler that says no all the time. You know, everything you ask them. No, 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 no. It's like it's their favorite word and it's going out of style. And you hear it all the time and it drives you crazy. So that's next week and I'll see you then. Bye.